checkmate. Welcome back, friends. It is so good to see you. As you know, I am the librarian and you are just in time for a story. So let me just get set up here. We need a cozy chair. My digital catalog. And my personal favorite. She's not your grandma's librarian. Oh no, she's not. She's not your grandma's librarian. Yeah. So now, all we need is Dave. Hey, Dave! It's story time! Oh, dear. I'm not ready yet. What's wrong? Well, I saw that we were talking about how Jesus said, I am the way. But is it... This is the way. Or maybe... Step right up this way to the greatest show you've ever seen! Or could it be? This way to the happiest place on earth! Well, I know that Jesus gives metaphors to help us understand who he is, and he's not really a road sign, but I feel like my outfits have become like a really lovable part of this story time, and you know, I just, I just don't know what to do! Dave, believe it or not, you're right on track. Take a look. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. When we don't know what to do, Jesus is the way. Yes. Let's look right here. Today's just starting and I'm already cranking. What's the first case on the docket? Oh, 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 well, we got two beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, American cheese. Bailiff, I said docket, not me. Oh, here you go. It is Dr. Brown versus the royal official. Uh, you must be the doctor, I suppose, you with the stethoscope. That's correct. Stethoscope? Hey, I got one of those in here too. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Hang on, here it is. Yeah, I got one. I beg your pardon, this is not a toy. This is a highly sophisticated piece of medical equipment. Wait a minute. This Big Mac doesn't have a heartbeat. Ah, we need a surgeon, stop. Bailiff, sandwiches do not need physicals. <sighs> Doctor, why are you suing the royal official? For royally messing up my schedule, I received this letter stating his son was sick. I made the long journey all the way to Capernaum, and when I get there, his son is jumping up and down healthier than a horse. You one of those uh, animal doctors? What do you call them? Uh... Vegetarian? <laughs> Judge, I told the good doctor that even though her services were no longer needed, I'd be more than happy to pay for her travel expenses. I want more than travel expenses. You obviously lied about your son being sick. I did not. My son was extremely ill. I object. On what grounds? They forgot my hot apple pie. Overruled. You've had enough sugar as it is, bailiff. Uh, no fair! <sighs> All right, uh, now you say your son was sick. Yes, that's right. He had an extremely high fever, so I sent letters to the doctors in all the surrounding areas to see if they could come help. Dr. Brown included? Yes, and even though many doctors came, no one could figure out what was wrong with him. So what you're saying is the boy was miraculously healed? Something doesn't add up here. Hmm. Dr. Brown is right. Verdict for the whitey doctor! But, we haven't heard from the royal official yet. Verdict appeal! <sighs> now, how did your son get well? Well, Judge, you have to understand. I was a desperate man. My son was dying. And I didn't know what else to do. So I ran all the way to Cana. 
to Kana? <laughs> There's no respectable medical professionals in Kana. No, but there was a man named Jesus. And well, I had heard rumors that he was a very special man. So I begged him to come take a look at my son. And he did. No. No? You are testing my patience! We are back in square one! Judge, please, please, listen. Jesus simply told me, and I quote, Go, your son will live. So I started the long journey back home. But before I got there, two of my servants came running towards me and gave me the best news of my entire life. They said my son was alive and well. His fever broke, his appetite came back. They even said he was eating an ice cream sundae. Kids, they're always eating junk food. Am I right? Your Honor, you don't honestly believe this outrageous story, do you? Well, I admit, it's very unusual. Though I have one question before I make my final ruling. How do you know that it was Jesus that healed your son? I mean, you said yourself that he did not come back to your home with you. Couldn't this whole thing be one giant coincidence? Well, that's the most amazing part. I asked my servants what time my son started feeling better, and they said his fever just suddenly disappeared at one in the afternoon. <laughs> 1 p.m. That's the exact same time Jesus told me my son would live. It was then I knew Jesus was no ordinary man. He is the Son of God. And from now on, I will always go to him when I don't know what to do. Judge, I... I, 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 I am ready to rule. <laughs> but if you ask me... Nobody asked you, Doc. I am ready to rule. <clears throat> I would think that you, as a medical professional, would be happy that the boy was healed by Jesus. You will be compensated for your travel expenses, and not a penny more. Oh, and I'm very happy that your son is feeling better. So am I. Hey Doc, I got a question for you. Does this toe fungus, does that, does that look pretty serious to you? Bailiff, leave that whiny doctor alone. You and I are going to McDonald's to get your hot apple pie. Yes! Thanks! Can I get a Happy Meal too? Please! <laughs> that bailiff, he cracks me up every time. So there are four characters in our story, but only one of them is mentioned in the Bible. So, who do you think it was? Which one of our characters is also mentioned in John chapter four? Is it Judge Moody? The bailiff? The royal official whose son was sick? Or Dr. Brown? That's right, it's the royal official. He was a real person whose son was dying and he didn't know what to do. But he knew where Jesus was, so he went that way. Jesus told the official his son would live and the official believed Jesus' words were the truth. So he turned around and went home. It wasn't until the next day that he found out the exact moment Jesus said those words, his son had been healed. It was proof that Jesus had the power to save his son's life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I got it, the perfect costume. I see what you mean now. When I don't have the answer, when I don't know what to do, I can go to Jesus. Say it with me, folks. I can always go to Jesus when I don't know what to do. Well done, Dave. So we have just one more story left to tell as part of our epic storytime adventures. While you wait, you can read this week's story in John chapter four. And this week's I am statement is in John chapter 14, verse six. It's our memory verse, so make sure to check it out. So long, adventurers. She's not your grandma's librarian. Oh, no, she's not. She's not. She's not your grandma's librarian.